A lot of people are thinking about switching to electric cars. Not everyone can simply plug in at home. We wanted to find out if there are enough public chargers in San Diego to meet the demand. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at the kind of infrastructure we'll need to keep San Diego charged. I tried it and I like it. Marco Leone has had his electric VW Golf since 2019. He likes the savings on gas. He likes helping the environment. He doesn't like looking for a place to charge. It's a hassle sometimes because there are not a lot of spaces to charge the car. Cheng Tan agrees. She's had her Hyundai Ioniq for a month and already feels the stress. Yesterday I was actually on the road and I was kind of panicking. Um, I think there's something called range anxiety just to make sure that I have enough charge in my car to get to where I'm going. It's one of the biggest challenges for electric vehicle owners, especially if they live in apartments or places where they can't install a charger to use overnight. And it's something the government and businesses are trying to address. There's not enough chargers at the moment for everyone to charge. Corey Perman is SDG&E's clean transportation project manager. A recent report by the company found, quote, significant gaps in the county's electric car infrastructure. Right now, the report says there are 69,000 electric cars on the road in San Diego and 6,760 publicly available charging stations. That seems to be enough to meet demand, but by 2030, they estimate 771,000 electric vehicles will be on the road and need more than 155,000 public chargers. That means San Diego needs to build more than 16,400 new public chargers every year to keep pace. Charging for folks in apartments and condos, charging at workplaces, uh, public charging like this park. It's crucial that we keep expanding to reach those goals. Since 2018, SDG&E has built 3,260 public charging ports like these. They plan to build 2,600 more. They're not alone. The city of San Diego manages 68 charging ports at 15 different locations. And the county promised to build 2,000 chargers through the Clean Cars for All program. The county also has $19.7 million available as rebates for businesses or housing projects who install their own chargers. And to help people with range anxiety, apps like PlugShare map out locations with information on what type of plug is available, how many are in use, and even how long it will take to charge. Experts say planning ahead is the key. Is there a grocery store that they frequent that has a public charger? Um, depending on their vehicle, um, they may be able to juice up while they're getting their weekly groceries um, you know, or eating at a favorite restaurant. That's a lesson new electric drivers like Tan are learning as they wait for the infrastructure to catch up to demand. Yeah, I feel more comfortable now that there's more charging stations and there's more charging options. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. The state of California has a goal of 5 million electric cars on the road by 2030 and to only sell new electric cars by 2035. Lawmakers have been working on several bills to make it easier to install electric chargers.